Further on the tonight's agenda, case number 16087, Brian Shannon, Senator Shannon, Shannon, for signing to finish the attic and divide it in half and create additional bedrooms for each. Unit also one full bath in unit 38 to the very home in the quality of full bath in the premises of the 38 quality open street. The afternoon of representative here. Yes. Come on up here and I hear it so you can hear it. Name and address, please. Good evening, Chairman, members of the board. Uh, my name is Brian Chen. This is my wife, Chen Yang Chen, uh, 165 Old Colony Avenue, Unit K. In Quincy, we're the owner of 38-40 uh, Copeland Street. Um, currently, um, 3840 Copeland is an existing uh, three-family property. The way it's set up is split in half, with 38 being two units, uh, first floor unit, and then the second floor unit, and then the 40 Copeland is the two-floor unit comprising the, the three-family. Um, it's a, it's a three-floor with the attic kind of a cost. Um, what we're proposing to do is the following, essentially finishing the third floor um, attic. There are currently um, already two rooms existed before we bought the uh, property. It, it shows on, on the, um, uh, the city records also, so essentially it's finishing up the two rooms into a, a two bedroom uh, with one giving to the 38 second floor unit and then the other one giving to the 40 um, Copeland and and also we're proposing to add a full bath for the 38 second floor unit so that when all is um, said and done we will go from five bedrooms to six bedrooms and from three full bath to five full bath for the current existing um, three family. Just some steps that I'd like to mention that we took um, for the refile. Uh, we were here uh, last time. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first step is, you know, being the first time owner of a, a multifamily house. Everything was new mm -hmm. to us. So we worked, um, Kathy Nugent was kind enough to help us fill out the zoning board application the first time and second time. But there was a big step that we missed, which was to inform the city councilor, Brian uh, Pomucci. So what we did for this time around is I called um, Brian Palmucci and we spoke on the phone. I walked him through the, the, the plan and then he was okay with our plan and asked us to refile. So that's the one step that we took. So the second step that we took after hearing all of the members of the board, Mr. Chairman's concern, on the first time we filed, we um, scaled down significantly um, on what we're doing with the attic. Essentially is really uh, converting two of the existing rooms into two full um, uh, uh, a bedroom and then the rest of the space is open open space uh, with the exception of one full bath um, to give to the 38 um, second uh, floor unit um, so these were the steps that we took for the refile and also I'd like to tell you guys a little bit of uh, our current uh, uh, living situation we're a family of four with two young boys uh, ages four um, and two. So the plan for us is to move in unit 40 um, after the renovation is done. Because if this goes forward, then unit 40 will be a three floor uh, unit, which will provide us a, a bigger space for the family. Um, and, and also right now, we're running into a bit of difficulty of paying uh, two mortgages. Currently, the three unit family Two units have been vacant for quite some time, pending the outcome of the zoning uh, uh, board. So it has been uh, vacant for quite some time. Um, so I kindly ask for your consideration in uh, approving this project so that we can move in unit 40 and start um, selling, putting the small townhouse we currently live in on market so that we can um, move in unit 40. All right. In unit two, you took away a bedroom and you made it a living room? Un unit two. Unit two. Uh, no. Uh, is this, what floor is this? Sorry. Second floor, mm -hmm. left side, unit two. Mm -hmm. So you had a bedroom there. Now, you, now you're making it a living room. Yeah, come here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right here. Yeah, that was a bedroom. That was off. That was over here. Yep, that was a bedroom. 
before. Now you're saying it's a living room. You took out this wall. So um, you can walk up the stairs. Yeah, so what's this here? So this is the hallway coming. And, and when Kathy did the uh, home inspection, because what happens is there's a common hallway, the front entrance, common hallway, go up the second But there floor. isn't no more. Right, so that's what the wall is for, so to block it so right. that so that they have the second unit 38 and the attic to, to be connected as one unit so that we have to go through the, the kitchen. Uh, right here. Uh, yeah, we have to uh, go in. So this is um, when we come up the common hallway, we open the door into the kitchen, mm -hmm. through the living room, and, and up. up. You have to go through your kitchen, through here, yes. and upstairs. Yes. So you made that a living room. So you're telling me you got two living rooms in this place now? That's a living room. That was a bedroom. You're yeah. saying that's a living room, and this is a living room. Let's see if I get a this one. I get a lot of this one. The only thing that changed here from the last plan is you made a bedroom, you made that a living room instead of a bedroom. We didn't touch the, we didn't touch the second, second floor. floor. All right, give me, give me the second floor. Second floor, which one? I got a right one. That's the existing one. Are you looking at the existing? No, I'm looking at the default. The existing yeah. second floor. Well, the existing has, see, has the living room. Bedroom. Bedroom. See the bedroom? You're changing this from a bedroom to a living room. This is a bedroom. See this? That was a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now you're changing it to no, a bedroom. No, we're not, we're, not, we're not changing it. Um, so that is a bedroom. That is so a it's a bedroom. bedroom. We did, yeah. How are you going to get upstairs? Walk through the bedroom? So that's why we're opening this up to walk through the bedroom. So you walk through the bedroom. So this is a bedroom, not a living room. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. So you got another bedroom there. All right. Yeah. So now, let's figure out unit one. There's one bedroom. Yep, unchanged. Okay. Unit two now has two, two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. All right. I thought you were making that one bedroom. So mm -hmm. you got two baths. So you got two bedrooms, two baths. Unit two. Unit three mm -hmm. is going to have three bedrooms. Oh, yeah. And two full baths. Three bedrooms, two full baths. Four bedrooms. The four bedrooms in unit three. Because on second floor, we're converting a bedroom into a, a, a full bath. So that takes away. No, that's a den. That's a den. That was a den. Yeah, I mean, it's a bedroom, it's just no, no closet. You got it marked. The original, your plan, not my plan. Yeah. Yeah. Your plan is yeah. that's a, that's a, a den. Yeah. Turn it into a bath. Yeah. And my architect says it's no, no, no closet. So he says it's a so, den. It's a bed. So, so that's going to be your bath. I get that. Yep. And you got a bedroom here and a bedroom here, right? You got a bedroom upstairs. And the first floor you got a bed. You have four bedrooms in this unit. Four bedroom in unit three. Right? Now unit two, you got two bedrooms. Four. Yep. And the other one you got one. Yep. So, you got. Seven bedrooms now, right? No, we I mean, we don't have seven bedrooms. We have four in this one. One, two, three, I think four. I think you messed. I think your architect. No, it's a bedroom on the bottom floor. So, so, so let, me, let me just hold, oh, hold, 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 hold. Right. Step back. First floor, unit three. Existing? No. So well, it, it, it existing or otherwise, yeah. the bathroom yeah. stays yeah. a bedroom, right? Second floor, the colleagues, first floor, existing, this is first floor, everything. This is my first floor. This is the first floor. First floor plan. It's your plan. Yep, there is no. That's the plan. Yep. The first, yep. It's got a bedroom all back. You got a kitchen, living room, bath, and a bedroom. Right here for your bedroom and your bath, correct? That's what the city record shows. It's like a family room. It's vacant now. It's been vacant. Listen, and I'm going by the office. Okay. They're not mine. Oh. You drew yeah, them. Oh. You, you drew them, not me. Oh. Oh. You got a bedroom. You got two bedrooms on the next floor. And then you want another bedroom up top. So you want a four bedroom unit. Yes, yeah, that's unit 40. Yeah. 
right? And you have to apply your four bedrooms. 38, two. Yep. It's two bedrooms. Yep. 38, one. Oh, so is seven one bed. is what we're saying. Seven. Right? Yep. So you have seven beds. Seven. When, when I, I saw seven You got a four unit, four bedroom place and, and, a, and a two bedroom, two bath. What do you have for parking there right now? I'm uh, currently a uh, six parking spot. Uh, it's a surveyor. Uh, it exists. So what do you do with four bedrooms? So we'll, we'll, be be living, we'll be living in there, and then we have uh, mm -hmm. two cars. And then when you move, someone else is going to have four bedrooms. Whether you stay there a year or 30 years, the next person is going to move in there. They've only got so much pot. And that's, this plan didn't change mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. The only thing that changed is the upstairs. Mm -hmm. You didn't label these rooms. Mm -hmm. This building is built just like this. Nothing's changing. You're not putting any dormers on or nothing, correct? You're not touching the building. Well, just the touch, inside. Just the inside. Not touching the building. And you're adding, you're adding two bedrooms. All right. Uh, in addition to existing, yeah. it would be, or it would be one. Well, if you take out your den. Yeah. I mean, we change the bed. Let's say that. Is you still leaving? Now, now I'm really confused. One bedroom, two bedrooms. Okay, that's two bedrooms. It's just two bathrooms. It's just packing and worry about. I mean, when you have a rental property of, of four bedrooms, two bedrooms, one bedroom, one bedroom, one bedroom, you're still going to have two cats. Two bedrooms, you're still going to have two cats. Four bedroom, you could have three or four or five cats. That's a place that we had. No, I know. It's really not in. Like there's no way for cars to spill over. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Like, so. Hopelessly, there's no yeah. way to go. No. We didn't park. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not like if they had more off street parking. I wouldn't be thinking about this. Yeah. It's like you have four bedroom units. Where do you put these people? You know, up, uh, and you get two bedroom units there. Even without right the top, I mean. Oh, we really not thinking of them. Sell house, like really just think move yeah, it has nothing to do with it. People get sick, people move, people die. Yes, part of the week. It just it. happens. It happens yeah, all the time. What happens. what happens in 10 years from now? What happens? I, mean, you know, I can't feel good about putting four more bedrooms in a house or two more or three more bedrooms when there's six parking spaces. And I know what you're saying. It's just like, and I'd like to see you live there. We're told that all the time. It never happens, happens. Most of the time people don't move in there. They say, yeah, I'm moving in, and my grandmother's moving in, and my, my aunt's moving in. And it just don't happen. You just come here, they tell you a story, and you believe it, and then you get down there and you're away, and no one lives here. The house is sold. So it's not you. It's who's next going to live there? You know, I mean, you get a four bedroom unit, it, it could be four college people. In there. That's just my question. It just seems like what's the current from the parking? It just seems dense. That's what's just the current weird. attic? Is it is it finished? Yeah, it's, it's not not finished. No, it's it, all has, an attic. it has it has two rooms. That was there when we bought yeah. the house, so we're just trying to finish thing that into two bedrooms. And it has a pretty really nice um, attic, kind of high, <coughs> with plenty of space. Um, So what about, what this about wall stone? isn't here, correct? You're going to put that wall in. Correct. You're going to spray that. Yeah. All right, so it's one big giant. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think. This is my two cents. If they're going to live there, it, it wouldn't bother me to, to have that all with you and 40. I was going to say, would, would, would you be against that? Or like, I would. Just I would. If they they could, one side or? They could do the whole thing for that one unit. It wouldn't bother me. It's or like, put that all on 40. Put that all on 40. Uh, on all on 40, on 40? Without splitting it. So you're not just adding more bedrooms to another unit for another one. What happens is you just get more cars. Yeah, I understand. That's all. Because yeah, right now we're, we're we have seven bedrooms and six parking spaces. Yes. You know, it's five or six now. When you get two bedroom units, all right, you get a couple. You get a couple kids, a couple cows, and you get two cats. And if that came in a four bedroom, it just...
Uh, is there any way maybe uh, first That's just my it? two cents. Are anyone you? else going to speak? Let them oh. speak too. They got their own. Mr. Cabellas, any uh, ideas? I have an idea yes. that maybe in uh, 38 you need uh, unit two. Mm -hmm. We cut back one. No, we don't allow the, the new bedroom upstairs. So that would make it how many bedrooms? So yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying. I'm saying take, you take this wall down on the attic and give that whole thing to four. Okay. So take out this here to 38. This is all five. Oh. So she can have a playroom up there for her kids or whatever she wants. Oh. All right. So that means there would be six bedrooms now. Right. Yeah. It means one bed. No, your kids are young, yeah. but they're going to get bigger. Right? Yeah. And so that would leave you two one-bedroom units. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, the way that yeah, I think this is giving the concern, I think that's that's reasonable. The way that we we thought about it is, um, I mean, that's the American dream for us, right? Living in one unit and hopefully mm -hmm. the, the and first unit, second floor, and the whole pay for it. Right. They all pay for no it. Question. So there was our original kind of thing. And, and you could make a nice playroom up there, pool table for the kids. You can buy some nice pinball machines and buy the neighbors crazy down underneath. Drums. Drums. <laughs> so, we, so we're finishing the. the well, we don't know yet. We're just talking. Just, just, just a suggestion. Okay. Just, just so it is. This yeah, one you think Two single one bedrooms. Yeah. You can rent out, help you pay for your home. And who knows? Maybe there'll be one cat in and your friends can come over and there's an extra spot. Just my idea. Anything else? Have you got something you want? That's what I said. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think uh, when we get rid of the upstairs, the attic bedroom on uh, unit two. Right. You know, the post one. Right. Make that open space. You can make that one big giant bedroom over here. And a yeah. playroom here. Yeah. So the kids come up and get a playroom in here. And then master bath. And everything could be over there. Well, that's this bedroom for you guys. Right. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like you're going to make more space. Even if you knock the garage down, it's still not going to make more space. It's right. Yeah. Right. These are, but, that's a, but that's a know, yeah. Yeah. Right. But the garage is gone. Yeah. Right. I know what you're saying. Maybe it's an angle park. So there's a, um, another parking space that we're not calling out is um, um, this is the, the driveway from the street in. Mm -hmm. So this is in front of the, I'm not sure if that's a legal parking, but this uh, to fix the car the there. So, the the so that's, so that, so you have six spaces. It's already six feet out back. Out yeah. back and then there's one more. Yeah. Well, you know, when uh, they're renting out your unit, you can tell people you have two parking spaces. Now, when your kids are small, yeah. and when they get bigger, you may have changed that. Mm. But that would make your unit more valuable. Mm. Oh, okay. So you reclaim some of the rent. If you know what I'm saying? You don't have that many bedrooms, but you have more parking. Mm. So a trade off. Yeah. It's just something to think about. Thank you. Yeah. So, if you get in there, turn around and get out, and everything else is it's not you. As it is, even though where those parking spaces are. <coughs> Any other idea? I, mean, I, I, I think that's probably the only potential solution is to either, you know, keep it separated and don't allow that side to be, mm -hmm. you know, redone at all. Storage. Uh, that could stay at storage or something like that, or you make it all part of Unit 40. I, I, I think, you, you know, this is something we struggle with. You just saw it in the last case. Is, is parking is an issue. And it's becoming more and more of an issue in Quincy. And unfortunately, there's no one street parking on Copeland Street. You know, there's there's no way for you guys to have any spillover parking that we could say, well, you know, like the last one where there's a park across the street, you know, uh, based on your location, it just makes it really tough. So we have to make sure that we can get cars off the street and make full on more, you know, things like that. So, um, and I know it's not you guys with two little kids because they're not getting behind the wheel for another 15 years. but. <laughs> if you leave in five well, years, that's what we have to think about, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else covered at all. Okay, is there anyone I'd like to speak in favor? Just give us a Anyone mm -hmm. like first call, second call, third call, close, correspondence. I have correspondence. We regret to be here about much this project and have no comments. Anyone opposed or undecided? First call? Huh? 
Uh, my name is Hollis McKay. I've been a resident of Quincy for 40 years. And when I saw this application, I was afraid it was going to be another rooming house. We have so many rooming houses down in Quincy, and most of us we go down to the planning department or the building department. They're, they're looking for these all the time. There's so many illegal boarding rooms in the city of Quincy. You know, I congratulate them for bringing it up to you, mm -hmm. but I oppose it because I think it's another boarding house setup. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else? Opposed or undecided? Second call? Third call? Call the pilot here to close. I think it's just Forty Copeland finished the upstairs the way they want to. Put the plan without putting the second half on 38. I'd be in favor of that. I would be too. I would be in favor of a modified third floor as well. Third floor is what? The modified third floor because what? Unit 40. Yeah, right. Either unit 40 or unfinished, I'd go with either. I agree. All right, the commotion unit 40 gets the upstairs third floor with the other uh, changes that are in the plan. So. Okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, Madam number 16, you guys understand what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. You understand what we're doing now, right? Okay. Third floor is doing the floor. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. With Madam, one bedroom? I'm sorry. With sorry. one bedroom. Okay. So, Madam number 16 is 087, Brian mm -hmm. and uh, Ms. Chin, for <laughs> finding to finish the attic and the buy-in to have to create an additional bedroom for each unit and also one full bath for unit 38 to convert room in unit 40 to a full bath on the premise of number 38-40 Copeland Street Cleansing and make a motion to grant to finish the attic but not to buy the in half. The attic would stay in part of 40. And I think we're okay with the one bedroom, one bath. <laughs> one bedroom, one bath. Second? Okay. Second. Second. On the motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.